Hey, what's up there guys? Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile and the Google Pixel here and I'm running Android P, Google's just released second developer preview of the next version of Android coming later in 2018. Now this is the Android P beta or developer preview too and what we're going to do is show you how to get those new gesture controls that Google just announced which is how you control Android moving forward. Now this is optional right now but when Android P is released later this year, it may be the default, we're not sure. But for now, it's something that Google highlighted at Google I.O. And now that there is a wide variety of devices that can try Android P today, instead of just the Pixel or Pixel 2, we wanted to show you how to turn this on. So if you have a Sony device or OnePlus 6 or a couple of different devices, there's actually 11 in total, you can try the Android P developer preview beta right now and enable the new gesture controls. So go ahead and pull down the notification bar, tap the gear shaped settings button, and then you're gonna to wanna to scroll to the very bottom and tap on system. And then system here, you will see a brand new, well, not necessarily new, cause we've had some of these before, but gestures option. And then here you're gonna tap on swipe up from the home button. Now there's a few different things you can control, you know, the notification bar with the fingerprints and you can instantly turn on the camera and a couple of things that have been here before. But if you tap on swipe up on the home button, and then turn this on, that is the new controls, and you'll see down here this all change. So once you turn that on, Android completely changes the way it looks and feels. There's no more back button, there's no more recent apps button, it's just this one like pill shape thing. And you can uh, long press it to fire up the Google Assistant, but the thing is here, you can pull all the way up to reach your app tray like usual, or if you don't pull up as far, you get like this, recent apps menu. So the idea here is to make this really easy when you're using your phone with one hand, then you can toggle through things, then you can swipe that away like before, and then go ahead and go back home. Or if you slowly drag the pill, you get into this kind of overflow menu where you can control them yourself. So you can swipe up and go to all your different apps, or you can slide over and kind of toggle them this way. So as you can see here, only when it's necessary does the back button appear. So that's another change. And then another thing you might be wondering is with Android, you know, previous versions, you could hit that recent apps button that was on either side and see a list of all your running apps, or you could double tap it to instantly go back to the last app. Now, if you just pull over really fast, that just toggles between your running apps. So that's kind of a neat thing if you're, you know, using your phone and you're trying to download some new apps and you click home, send a message, you can just swipe over again and instantly get back into that or instantly get back into, you know, Gmail or whatever you may be doing. So you can pull up slightly to get to the running apps list or you can pull up all the way to open your application tray. So that is some of the gesture controls in Android P beta or the developer preview too. That's how to enable it. And if you have a hard time controlling your phone with this, just go ahead and go back in and get rid of it. You can also go into settings and just search, you know, gestures to find it faster. And then you go ahead and tap it and come in here and turn that back off. And you got your home button back like before. But that's it guys, quick look. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. See you next time.